welcome back to Gator Snapper playthrough of awkwardly get. splicing myself the into the middle of a conversation. So, as um, I mentioned this earlier in the last Rick. episode, but I didn't really go into it, and I was like, oh, I might as well. Uh, so, I mentioned how chat. my laptop's fan so exploded. You know, Bonnie can so, here's the story the behind. Oh, God. Oh, no. Let's focus on this for a little bit. But, yeah. Um, so, recently, uh, my laptop had lost, like, a screw. And that meant the bottom of the case was like exposed and for a while I was like, okay, this isn't really a problem Let's just not worry about it. Later. Oh, okay. Can't later. Got it. Uh, yeah So it was just exposed for the like the world to see it was fine until one day smoke started coming out of it. I was like, oh shit, this is really bad. I took it apart. Uh, There's like like some little bit of something. It's like a copper paper, I guess. It was some kind of metal thing that was uh, available, like just open. Or it was loose. I thought that was where the like smoke had come from. I put that back together. It was okay for a while. It still ran a little hot. I was worried about that. But, um... Then I fucking, like, I, I started using it, I started bringing it with me whenever I do a D&D &D session. Because we did a lot of our stuff on the computer, and then I started DMing and I needed to keep track of my notes. Hello, hot tub person. And, uh, yeah, one day I turned it on, I got the weird notification of, like, Hey, your fan isn't working. It's not recommended that you turn this laptop on. I was like, oh, fuck me. I've got things on there. I've got school papers I really need. I've got my D&D &D notes, which are way more important than my life. And, yeah, I, I, took it, I took it down to the shop. And you know what? The story wasn't as interesting as I thought it was. I just realized that. A bit late, but I guess it's better late than never. So, hey. Welcome back to Gator Snapper Playthrough of Gator's fucking super interesting fucking storytelling time. It's great. I don't know, my laptop is dead and now it's getting fixed, so there, I guess there's a happy ending to that. I guess if I had to add a moral to this story, it's if your laptop starts smoking, don't keep using it. Please either fix it or get a new one, so... Yeah, alrighty then. Like I said, that was a really pointless story. Let's just focus. Let's just focus back on the real story here. We're following Peyton here. Ooh, that was weird. How did I do that? I like perfectly synced up his turn. Oh my god, that too. I forgot there's all sorts of fun things to do with this boy. Look at him go. He just turns on a dime. It's beautiful. I guess if you watch his feet, it's not so weird. Oh, can I make him ski? No. Oh, no. Yeah, there he goes. You can kind of get him to do it. I don't know. A lot of games nowadays have changed it where, oh hey, I can actually see people on the map. Yeah, a lot of games have changed it now where it's a lot harder to make them ski. They have like a just more fully fleshed out uh, walk cycle, which is good unless you want to have fun with your games and skiing. Alright, what am I doing here? All I know is that there's a robot I can pick up down here. Uh, thank you for the obligatory cutscene of showing like, oh hey, characters and their fucking developments with one another, talking and whatnot, oh boy, so fun. And this boy, hello, I like your beanie. Uh -huh. I'm Jeanette, okay, I'm not a girl, but thank you. I mean, I could be a girl. I, I appreciate the fact that you didn't just immediately gender me. Except you did, you called me Jeanette, I don't know. Also, E does not stand for extreme. Shut the fuck up. I hate it when you do that shit. You specifically. I don't know you, but I already have a fully fleshed out opinion of you. Uh, oh. Ah, ha, ha. You have a girl's name. That's what you get for calling me Jeanette. I don't even know who the fuck Jeanette is. Diaz. It must be Diaz. I understand your concern. Don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this Cool. That makes me feel so much better about this. Did you not hear what I was talking about last time about college shit? Listen, it's so yeah. weird hearing them talk about so many well, we normal get things we'll my rig together. with, like, what the serious? last game was all about. Yeah. The last game was so serious, and, and like, the bits of funny that were there were just, like, put it together I don't know, they weren't, I don't know. They weren't, like, smarmy or jokey. I don't yeah. fucking know. It's something, whatever. Oh, what did he do? He took my robot apart. Am I really gonna get pissy about that? How dare you touch my robot? I'm the only one that knows my robot. Um, what finishing touch? Oh no. Yeah, I guess that would be kind of weird. I'd be kind of weird to have someone took my car apart and did shit. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on. going on? Curve? I don't. You're saying a bunch of made up words, as far as I'm concerned. Get it? Ice planet? Shut the fuck up. Oh boy. Should I just like start skipping cutscenes if they're going to be talking like this? I got three things in Oh, he has family? Huh. I kind of assume with the opening cutscene that the way he was going to, like, you know, have a kid was going to be, like, someone on the planet already. Oh. 
built it myself. Uh -huh. I know every Robot. Gear, Money. Every circuit. Cool. So, okay. Breaking down on me because some intern needed to well, he's a genius, I'm assuming, so things? whatever. Oh, he's going to tell him himself how he's a genius. All right, kid, don't listen to my yelling whatsoever. I'll back down. You can't really say in the world uh -huh. anymore because you're all Yeah. Sorry. Just back uh, I hate it. Mm -hmm. Just and secondly, don't, don't be smarmy okay. right now. It's okay. your show, Jim. So I'm annoying. Just, I don't. I don't like that. Give it a test Maybe it's just his character. Like, I there's like smart ass smarmy shit. I am okay with. Yep. I don't know. So maybe something just about this particular setting where it's like your smarmy character is annoying. I don't know. I if this was a movie, something. it wouldn't be something I'd be interested in watching. <laughs> okay, that I like though. That was that was a bit funnier. All right, what's going on here? Can I just get my robot? I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Uh huh. Let Take me guess. Time. Am I about to have some annoying fucking Halo style tutorial where I look up and down? Oh no, I guess I'm going to the quartermaster basement level. Uh, is this what is is this what this whole game's gonna be like? School? Is it gonna be like school? Am I just gonna be like called to places? Jim Payton to the principal's office immediately. We have to talk about how you shat in the urinal. Uh huh. Hey, I shat in your urinal. What can you tell me about it? Bertie Bowers. Okay. There's so many people with, like, feminine names on this planet, but none of them are a cute girl. I'm very disappointed. I heard the whole hanger John about oh, how we were getting no. a fresh pair of faces around here. I just had this the realization. I'm not going to be able to get all the birdie. cool weapons, like, in Lost Planet 2 for free. Here, I'm going to have to upgrade right, and buy shit. Oh, gross, I hate that. Oh, a knife? A hunting knife? You're giving me low-level weaponry, and I have to pay for it? Oh, I hate it. Just do what you did in the last game and just let me pick Pauly it up. Knife. Top uh, of the line for I, I, what is your accent? Free sharpening. Are you, like, Not Canadian? What about all the other people? Like, all the other ethnicities that used to be on this planet? What happened to the, the, the fucking, like, space Japanese and space Mexicans? I miss those guys. I liked them. They were fun. Alright, well, just give me a shotgun. I guess we can... Ooh, actually, hmm... Oh god, it is weapon upgrading. I hate it. But it does give me greater firing recoil, so <laughs> what can I say? I'm making a good deal here. No, give me a shot. Now that's a sweet myself. one. Put yeah, yeah, come, t come, yeah, tell me more about all this shit yeah. I don't care about. Nice okay. meeting you, Birdie. See, you can already tell Gator's getting agitated already. That's not a good sign. I mean, uh, never. <laughs> I don't know. Gator gets agitated very easily, so don't don't worry too much about it. I'm just going to say I'm not going to give this game too much of a chance cuz I already had a bad experience with it once in the past. I don't know. I think something also just like stopped working at one point, so I didn't really go any further with it. Oh, I guess I could check out my rig. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but whatever, might as well, right? Nothing else worth doing. I don't know, progressing the game. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if like I wonder if there's going to be... Don't eat the snow. Okay, G great advice, loading screen. I wonder if there's going to be some kind of, like, not open-worldness to it, but choose your own quest to do, because I think... Hold on, let me look at this. Uh, ju yeah, oh yeah, I have optional missions. That's going to be great, I'm sure. Oh god, if they make them obligatory, that's going to be even greater. Okay, cool. Well, I guess I was supposed to go here, and there is somebody I could talk to, so let's do that. Is that is that the guy? Yeah, it is. Ah, Beanie Boy. I never learned your... Oh, Gale. That's right. Is that Gale? I don't fucking know. Oof, I do like this hanger, though. It's nice. Okay. Uh, robot, please. Yep, and it is Gale. You got here quick. I guess that's why I had to go to that fucking quartermaster to fucking give him an excuse to just appear here. Yep, spawn Gale, please. Without it, just out of sight so that your immersion isn't broken. Speaking of my immersion, they're really immersing me with how slow technology is. Ah, uh, yes. It's just like the real thing. I'm pretty sure... I just saw, like, an object clipping. I might have to go back and, like, show that in the cutscene, but I'm pretty sure I saw the gate clipping through the ground. I don't know. It might just be me. And here's my Thanks. robot. Yeah, he put it back together. F fine. Okay, what? Is that, like, a rear view mirror? It looked like you just hook it up as a rear view. Oh, you ready this? To try this? Try treated. Are you, Are you kidding me? I like to call it the cockpit express. Oh, shut the fuck up. So he... I figured something like this would just be standard, like, to get into the robot. I don't know, whatever. Uh -huh. Yep. Well, hopefully the door would open. Oh, okay, so I guess that's why they would have it on this planet rather than not. 
Okay, well, they seem like they're getting along all nice all of a sudden. That's great. And Gale didn't even say too much to, like, solidify the guy's trust. All he said was, like, um, pet peeve, this is a different planet, and okay, I won't fuck with your robot. He didn't say anything like, I'm certified, I'm a genius, I'm good at my shit. Oh, God, I loved how all those screens just came out. That was cool. God, I wish, for, I wish we had robots like this now, although they'd just be used for killing. Ooh, it's first person. I love first person mech shit. There's a game that people told me to play. I don't remember what the fuck it was. It, had, it was like one of the new triple E titles. Triple E. Yeah, triple A titles where it's like mech versus mode fighting. My main problem was his fucking versus mode. Hello. Oh yeah, this is great. I mean, this is kind of. I, I just wish it wasn't like some fucking tutorial like this right now. What? Watch it, kid. Fuck you. I can do what I want. So, why is it. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, okay, cool. So, I guess he did do some nice things. So, why is it left trigger for left? arm and X for right arm. Oh, that's why. Okay, cool. So, wow, and it has fuel. I hope it fucking... Okay, I hope that doesn't cause any problems in the future. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't have to upgrade for any of this. Okay, so I can block like I'm boxing. I love that with a giant robot. Yeah. Cool. I mean... This would have been cool, admittedly, if I could fight the giant boss monsters in Lost Planet 2 with like a giant robot. I also kind of wish I could continue fighting them on foot. You know what, I can't really make that judgment because I, I haven't gotten there so far, so yeah, I don't know. What am I doing? Uh, I can, ooh, hey, they let me do that at least. Or I guess they had effect is really all I'm impressed with right there now. Uh -huh. I, yep. God, these fucking waypoints are so annoying. They're everywhere. It's just like somebody littered with them, and they're all of that stupid well, fucking I measurement unit that's just gonna bother me until I die. Just a little. Uh, it's okay, son. You're on a different planet. You can curse here. God can't hear you when you're on a foreign planet. Oh boy, I wonder if if humans ever get the chance to like deep space colonize. I wonder if they're really gonna like spread the whole religion thing. I figure at that point they might have grown out of it, but. Well, that's probably a mean fucking way to put it, but I don't know. I just wonder if if religion's going to stick around for if humans actually manage to get into space. It's kind of nice to think it would, because, I don't know, it's it's a peaceful, not peaceful thing. I mean, fuck, religion has caused so many of the fucking wars on uh, our on Earth, but I don't know. There's there's some nice aspects to religion, like the whole, uh, it's like the whole meditative peace thing to it. I don't know. Whatever. Gators never got weirdly introspective at minute uh, 12 in this episode, and he had to catch himself and stop real quick. Oh boy, hello. Is that the satellite? Is that the satellite that fucking that? wrecked the planet in the last game? I don't know, actually, that's kind of. I, I wonder if that is what it is. Or maybe it's like the ship that these people came in on and they just parked it poorly. I don't know. Oh, this way. This way I'm supposed to go. Can I sprint in this thing? I mean, I guess that's kind of a weird complaint to have when I hey, could darling. be... Uh, hello. Uh, oh, hey, my hi. wife. Sweet, I got so robot jacking off cam. It's not weird to be uh -huh. having a one-way conversation with you. You mean... Not weird at Yeah, I mean, it's pro I imagine that's how you talk to this guy in the first uh, place anyways. Oh, hey, he doesn't seem I like he's much for the conversation. There to keep you sane. Uh -huh. keep you you're probably you're cheating on so me. I mean, fuck, this is a, dude, with like light years and Hopefully fucking space travel. It's probably been like fucking 500 years since I've been, okay. like, last time. It's, I'm it like, now. I'm just like assuming it's just taking that whole uh, aliens aspect of um, deep space travel where we just have to cryogenically sleep. So yeah, I'm imagining like that message is from 500 years ago. And she, right now, like, she's dead. And not only is she dead, she had like way better dick since I I had been gone. I don't know. Long distance relationships with space travel involved. It gets a little bit more depressing than, oh, I live a city away from my boy slash girlfriend. Oh, whatever. Hello. Oh, am I being presented with an obstacle? Let me enjoy myself. Ha! Huh. Uh, wait, a little bit closer. Ha! Huh. Okay, fine. I'll use a proper tool. Whoa! Well, that was fun. I mean, if they put a whole level of shit like that, I bet it would be a bit more fun. Ooh, especially if it was, like, part of a oh, destructible environment. That'd be awesome. Oh, wait. The trail. Oh, is... Did, did LaRoche already die? Did Mr. Frenchman die? Oh, no, but I was... I was so, like, a, a, attached to his oh, character, I didn't you still even read me? know. 
Coronas. Is that is that home base? Okay, I guess that's home base. Good to know. Uh huh. Uh, lots of dead robot stuff. White Canyon Junction. Well, this is great. Well, it's fucking wonderful that this episode's uh, nearly over and all I did was practically nothing. Uh huh. He's probably down where that waypoint is. Just saying. Oh. Hazard warning. Cliff edge detect. Good god, these robots must be delicate as a flower. Or I don't fucking know. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a lot of work to make a 500 ton robot jump something. But anyways, I'm gonna end this episode right here. So this has been a Gator Sniper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.